good stuff. Just waiting on everybody else to start off. Nicole, how's it going? Good stuff, good stuff. It's a Monday. Come on, give it up for it being a Monday. Stephen Kelly, my man, how you going? Uh, yes, Nicole, you're right on time. Bobby just brought in. Bring on the camera. <laughs> Great stuff. And uh, bring them on camera. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Dave, how's it going? We're live. Happy Monday. Guys, um, if everybody else is just tuning in, thank you so much. I'm hoping you had a fantastic weekend. Um, as you know, we're always out here working just to make sure that um, every online business is profitable and enjoyable, all right? Um, as you would know, Bobby says Mondays are fantastic. Lorenzo, thank you so much. Tom, how are you doing, my man? Uh, Ronisha, how's it all going? All right, like I always say, guys, I believe that everybody else that's putting out the work, um, everybody else is really trying hard out there, should make their business profitable and enjoyable, and that's why we're here. And I also believe that those people with their um, online businesses should actually also, um, you know, be able to create for, okay, be able to create for and relate to those they're going to be taking money off of. So essentially, if you don't know yet, I teach a simple four-step system that is designed to help you as an entrepreneur, um, you know, to brand and market your services so that you have a business that is enjoyable and profitable. Here is how it goes. You basically have to know the kind of people you're dealing with create content for them, convert them into customers, and connect with them. So if you haven't gotten yourself a copy of the Blueprint, get your hands on the Blueprint by typing in the words Blueprint right there. Robert, how's it going, my man? Okay, so you might be wondering what I actually do. I lead a team at Live Long Digital where we help small businesses like you uh, grow through digital marketing strategies. So every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit here for 30 minutes, um, you know, so we can discuss ways to help you earn more money with less struggle. All right, so I want you to type in where you are tuning in from just so that we know how far this message is reaching and and just so that we also know who else is amongst the audience, all right? So this is what I'll help you do. I'll help you build systems in your business so that your business actually operates on autopilot. And I will also help you generate leads and revenue so that you basically work around the clock just branding yourself. And, um, you know, it works out like that. I really want to inspire you to do things that actually inspire you. Now, Lorenzo Sapienza, how do you deal with a cold market? First of all, you got to figure out what you're selling, who you're selling it to, and why those people need that product. If a market is cold, that means they don't need your product or you haven't educated them enough. So you got to put out content out there, Lorenzo. You got to let them know who you are. You got to let them trust you. You got to let them... Um like you, all right? So, because people do business with those that they know, like, and trust, okay? So, today we're talking about something that's near and dear to me, and it's something that a lot of people usually forget, and it's something that a lot of people, um, you know, don't usually take for granted. Half of the time, I don't think any one of us are actually taking, say, taking care of the true player, taking care of the mind, taking care of who you are so that you don't burn out, you don't, um, you know, um, you know, go through spurts of uh, non-productivity and you probably, um, you know, just quit because you're too tired and you can't handle the pressure that comes along with running your online business. Like, like anybody else, you know what I mean? Modern life has become more stressful. Back in the time, our uncles and aunts did not need to sit around and watch TV. They did not need to sit around and update a status. They did not need to tweet. They did not need to Instagram. They did not know what a selfie was. And they, it didn't matter what they showed up as, you know, do you know what I mean? But these days, every one of those things matters in your business, in your life, in your personal life, in your relationships. Every one of those things matter. And you got to be constantly 
creating and relating to those that you are going to get money off of. So you got to be productive. There's other people that tell you to hustle all the time and you are the only person that's probably working in your business and you are left depleted. All right. Now, my friend, I'm going to tell you that the only part that you're ever going to control in anything that you will ever do is yourself. You, the person, you, the one person that's supposed to be relating to your customers, selling, cleaning your office, every single thing is done by you, especially if you're still a solopreneur. Now, uh, Bobby says, this is how I'm working now. Hustle, entrepreneur, spring vibes. <laughs> Tell me about it. It is a beautiful day out there, um, Bobby. I hope you're actually enjoying yourself. All right. So, you know, like, like anybody else, there's a lot of things that I'm yet to accomplish. There's a lot of things that you also want to accomplish right now. Tony and Troy, how's it going, man? Troy, I still can't say your last name. Assign <laughs> All right. You know, like anybody else and, and just like you right now, it's a Monday or it's a Sunday, wherever you are. And you're thinking, oh, my God, what am I supposed to do? How is my week going to look like? It's already the middle of October and I probably haven't achieved any of my goals maybe for the month, for the year, for the quarter or whatever it is. There's a lot of things that you're going to accomplish in your life and like anybody else, like many of you guys, you're going to lose friends. You're going to suffer a lot of setbacks. There's going to be disappointments. There's going to be failures. How do you maintain to keep produ producing? How do you maintain showing up? How do you maintain being there for your customers? All right. Life is going to happen in and around you. It's going to happen for you. It's going to happen um, to the people around you. But how do you maintain all of that? Amid all these stresses, amid all these, um, you know, amid all these losses that, that is going to happen in your life, some dreams are going to come true and some are not going to come true. I've seen a lot of people, you know, achieve their goals and dreams, even if there was obstacles in front of them, even if they couldn't get up in the morning. You know why? Because at the end of the day, they have forgotten their why. They have forgotten the reason why they wake up every single day. They have forgotten the reason why they have to do what they're doing. And that, my friend, will lead you to burning out. Stephen Seaton, how are you going, my man? Tanya, thank you so much for tuning in. And Robert... What is Robert saying? The desktop is go. All right, don't get that. Msaka Duncan, thank you so much for tuning in. All right. Like I say, every single day we sit here for 30 minutes and I've helped a lot of people to achieve their goals and I've helped many more, you know, overcome some other obstacles, you know, irrespective, I mean, with respect of what they're going through. There's a lot of life that's going to happen to you as an entrepreneur, but for you to be prepared for it, there's a few things that you will do behind the scenes that nobody would see, that nobody, um, you know, sees happening that would let you go through past all those, um, you know, trials and tribulations. Do you know what I mean? You see, when, when, when things go wrong and you complain or, you know, when, when, when you complain about what has gone wrong or just that things are not working according to the way, um, you know, you anticipate. Let me tell you something. Nobody owes you anything. You have to really get up and start really doing things that you want to accomplish for your customers, for yourself, and for your own sanity. All right? So, what does it say? I had to first join from my phone, but Facebook has declined to cooperate with me. So, impacted better away from your message prosper. I don't know what's happening with, um, with the Facebook thing there. All right? You see? So, at the end of the day, you know, if you have goals and they seem so far and you can't accomplish them... Now is actually the time to begin. Today is the time to actually begin. And I've got a few things that I might tell you so that you keep the momentum going so that you actually continuously, um, you know, maintain you, the momentum that you've already started. First of all, I don't know if you guys do anything um, with morning rituals or do you do anything in the morning for you to actually prepare yourself for the day ahead? This is what I do. I shower, I go in and I choose a shirt to wear, a tie that matches, and then I make sure that everything is matching. You know why? Because I know I'm going to work. Even if I'm working at home and my wife is in there and my, my little girl is in there, to me, it, they, there's, a, there's a distinction in the house that shows that I'm working and then what they're doing is life. 
All right. If you don't put those demarcations, if you don't put those restrictions, uh, you know, in, 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 in your environment and teach the people that are around you to respect the fact that you are working, you always be distracted. All right. So, you know, morning rituals, whatever you do in the morning, maybe it's a workout. Maybe it's actually you getting ready for the day. Whatever you do, it has to be, you know, your, your own thing to, to, to change the pattern of your mind to let you know that what you're about to do, what you're about to start is important. That's the reason why a lot of people don't follow through. You know why? Because they do not respect what they are actually doing. That's the reason why I show up like this. Because I know I'm working and what I do is important and it's needed. Hey, Adam Kallis, how's it going, my love? Do you know what I mean? Even science has proven that, you know, if you've got uh, morning rituals, they're beneficial for your overall daily productivity. There's one thing that I've heard that just even fixing your bed, even fixing your bed in the morning or going for a morning run, it already sets your brain to think that you've already accomplished something. So at a personal level, if you're waking up in the morning, you should have a set time that you're waking so that your brain automatically knows that now we are going to work. Lorenzo, can you just hold on a little bit? You just came to the party and I know you're excited. All right, I'll get back to you, my friend. My business is to help you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Okay, all right. So at the end of the day, if you are not doing things that break the pattern um, from your weekend or from your nights, your body is not going to realize that you, you, you have started working. And when you get up on a Monday morning, you are not going to be feeling like you want to do some work. And Stephen says, my first thing I do is a 45 minute workout and it's my first success of the day. Then I build upon it. Exactly. You already feel like you've accomplished something. Do you know what I mean? Even getting up and brushing your teeth, even getting up and taking a shower, because yes, as entrepreneurs, you know, some of us, um, you know, are working in our pajamas or are working in a t-shirt and, and, and sweatpants. That is okay. You know why? At the end of the day, what you really, really need to figure out, what you really, really need to, um, what you really, really need to do is break that pattern. Because if you cannot distinguish your time when you're watching Netflix to the time when you're actually working, your, 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 your body will not register. Your mind won't register. And then everything just starts seeming like it's a lot of work for you to do. Even eating breakfast, getting dressed, you know, sometimes you don't have to leave for work, but make it a ritual so that your brain is trained to actually start thinking something needs to be happening right now. Do you know what I mean? And once you've done that, you've got to start planning your days. All right? Because at the end of the day, if you're not planning anything else, you're planning to fail. I have a, a, a calendar with an app called Time Spread. You should get that app. I've demarcated my day into certain days. And that's the reason why every single day at 2 p.m. I'm consistent and I'm showing up online. Because this time is scheduled for, no matter what is happening, unless I'm out of the office and I'm dealing with my accountant or something like that. But if I'm in here, there's nothing that can ever happen that would stop me showing up unless they have switched off the internet. All right. One thing, do what is comfortable with you, but make sure you are following through with that plan so that your brain knows who is boss. Because when you've got something scheduled and then you're like, oh, let me go eat now. You know what's going to happen? Your brain is going to continuously give you little things that you're supposed to do. Oh, do you remember? You have to call Sally. And then you call Sally and you're on the, on the phone for 30 minutes and then you haven't been productive. All right. This might seem obvious. Do it ahead of time. Plan ahead. I, I, I prefer to plan my week, you know, before. I mean, I, I prefer to start my week on a Sunday. You know what that happens? It, it, it schedules my appointments. I have already, I already know what my week looks like. You know, some people don't have time because they don't know how to manage their own time. They cannot plan. Do you know what I mean? Mike, how's it going, my brother? Hey, we should be talking. All right. So figure out what your week is going to be like, what are you going to do, who are you going to talk to, and already know what you're stepping into. You know why? You, you, you have things to look forward to and you have things to prepare for. 
right? And have a calendar system where you get people to book calls with you. Don't just accept calls willy-nilly. Because any, anytime somebody's calling you or sending you an email, they're giving you their agenda. Now, how is that part of your plan? Do you know what I mean? So, you know, at, at the end of the day, I also have this uh, situation. If somebody calls me and I pick up the call, I already tell them how much time we have on that call. And it's usually two minutes because they did not book that call. So that's what we're doing. We just go in, hi, this is Prosper. You've got two minutes. How can I help you? Automatically, they already know they're not going to be wasting your time. It could be your dad, your mom, your father, your sister, your brother. At the end of the day, you want to make sure that you are productive. You're putting in the work. You're doing the time. And then you will be rewarded for what, you know, because you need those 10,000 hours for you to be seen in public. It just doesn't work like that. All right. So no call should actually go beyond 15 minutes, even if it's scheduled. And that's what happens around here. You know why? Because after that, I think we're just talking about, but you know, the weather. And if they need to ask about the weather, give them an app. Vivian. Oh, mom. How are you? <laughs> hey, guys, everybody say hi to my mom. She's just tuning in, um, in from Zimbabwe. Welcome her to the show. All right. I hope you had a good weekend, mom. All right. So when, once you're organized, guys, once, once you have everything in place, and also there's also one other thing that increases productivity. Have you ever noticed I'm always in like my office, even if you don't have that much space in your house, demarcate a space within your house that tells you that this is work space. When you're in that environment, then you know productivity lives here. And this is an area that you really got to look at because you cannot be as productive as, as, as you, um, you know, you probably would be if you are lying on, 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 the, on the bed with, you know, with your laptop and you're watching Netflix and there you are trying to concentrate on doing work. You have to, you know, demarcate that and make sure that you're, 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 you, 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 you respect that area because it's your sanctuary, you know? But don't, don't be like me and start writing. <laughs> start writing on the cup with that. <laughs> hey, mom, these are all my friends. Yeah, and thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, do you know what I mean? So once you, you organize that, do you know what I mean? You just really need to do a really good job of blocking out time for specific activities. I even book out dinner. Do you know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, you've got clients to serve, you've got work to do. And if you do your things accordingly in time, you won't burn out. You know why? Because you know in the next 30 minutes, you're going to be doing the funnels. In the next 30 minutes, you're going to be doing your Facebooking. In the next 30 minutes, you're going to be maybe reading or whatever it is. Brock Bowen, how's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. And I don't know if you guys have noticed as well, I've been churning out episodes of the Online Prosperity Show, like six to seven episodes every single day. How does he do that? You know why? Because my time is scheduled. And that's how you get productivity AF. There's also one other thing that you've got to do, guys. Block out the clutter. You will never fix the world. You will never fix your neighbor. You will never fix your neighborhood. Block out the clutter that you're following through on social media or on email, etc., etc. And Lorenzo, how do you separate work and family? You don't because it's a part of you. All right. The whole, you know, the whole work life balance is a myth. All you got to do is make sure that you you plan people, you plan things to do in, in, in specific, um, you know, time slots. If it's time to be with, I've got a little girl, she's, um, she's, she's, she's uh, two and a half right now. If it's time to play with her, it's time to play with her. If it's time to make calls, it's time to make calls. Just got to have that discipline in your life. Do you know what I mean? And when you're on social media, don't go into every political debate, every racial debate, every religious debate. You don't need that. Every single time your phone is ding. Ding, ding, all of those, you know, disruptions. 
They're not helping you at all. You go in there, you start looking at your phone, and 10 minutes later, you, 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 you see that nothing that you have done or nothing you, you have contributed to the internet is even relevant. And Mike, what types of product, uh, activities do you describe as productive? Now, Mike, there's, there's activities to build your business, there's activities to grow your business, and there's activities to make money. All right. So all these activities that propel your business so that your business is profitable and you can enjoy working in it. Those are productive things and things that actually help your brain to maybe recalibrate or to actually, um, what do you call it? To, to, to really, um, I set my default notification sound to silent. <laughs> well, I saw that you don't see the noise. Yeah. So it depends what your business is, Mike. All right, productivity means you're doing the things that are moving you forward. So if if it means you want to be productive in your relationships, you you do that. You call in the people, you're sitting down with people in meetings or whatever it is that you gotta do. Jeez, I sounded like Eminem on a rim, and and and, and whatever Eminem was doing before, he was being productive. <laughs> All right, so email, guys. I only check out my email every, twice a day. In the morning, um, not exactly when I wake up, but when I start work and at 2 p.m. Because anything after that is just somebody who wants to bring in their own agenda. Now, one, um, one day you talked about how much, how much time we waste checking emails, answering calls, and being on social media. Set a task, uh, comment to it, and yes, exactly, you're right about it. You're right about that. I use what is called the Pomodoro sequence, all right? So you can download the app on, on iTunes. Um, it's called 3030, all right? So this is how I structure my day. Every 30 minutes are blocks of time that I'm supposed to be very productive, all right? But out of that 30 minutes, I take 25 minutes of deep work. So it could be fixing people's funnels. It could be doing SEO for people. Um, it could be whatever errand I'm doing for my clients at that particular time or communicating with my team in the Philippines or whatever it is that's happening at that particular time. 25 minutes of that, every single, um, you know, every single 30 minute slot. And then as soon as it, 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 it gets to 25 minutes, I get an alarm on my phone and then it tells me that I should now move on to the next task. And I give myself five minutes um, as a reward. Now, in that five minutes, I go and grab water, I grab a coffee, I go hug my wife, I go, um, you know, play with my little girl, or I go and, you know, or go to the bathroom, or just go on social media. So, social media to me is a reward, all right? I don't sit there like what maybe other people think I do. No, I don't. I just go there five minutes of every, so 10 minutes in every single hour, if, if most, yeah? That's how much I spend on social media, but I do it with impact. I just don't sit there and watch and refresh my news feed. All right? Do you know what I mean? So, for example, if you're, if you, you, you gotta figure out what are you doing, what actually brings in money into your business and do more of that instead of you just sitting and watching and seeing what other people are doing. For example, if you're a writer, do you know what I mean? If you're a writer or if you're putting out content out there, the best thing you can actually do is to start your day far away from social media as much as possible. You know why? Because once you start, you know, consuming content, you will end up going to, you're going to end up writing those things that other people are talking about. You don't need to be on social media at all. Even if you're marketing or even if you're a marketer, you don't need 500 hours on social media. Just schedule time in your day to reply emails, send text messages. Anything can wait. Like, and nothing is an emergency. If, if it's an emergency, they'll call a doctor. Because what are you going to do if you're the first person to know? What are you going to do, you know? So at the end of the day, there's nothing that is an emergency. And you know what happens when people are giving you their own agenda? That's when you start feeling like you've got to do something else instead of putting your work forward. And once you've got all of that in place, be consistent. Your clients need that. You need that. You know, right? you, know you could implement any of these tips that I've just given you by tomorrow. But if you want to see results, you've got to be consistent with them. 
That's the reason why it feels like something is missing if I don't show up. If I don't show up on, on Facebook. Lorenzo, I want you to answer that question. What do you think? You see? You know? It doesn't mean that if you do six sit-ups today, you already have abs. Or you do three workouts, you already have abs. And Malik, thank you so much for tuning in, buddy. All right? You just don't eat one piece of celery and already you're healthier than a... All right? You need, you need to stay organized. You need to stay on top of everything else. You need to have a regular, um, you know, schedule. You really, really, really need to block out the clutter, block out the news, block out anything else that doesn't resonate with at least something in your bank account. Nothing actually matters until you start getting paid from it. If it's not paying your bills, get rid of it. That's how you become productive. But maybe some of you guys don't want it as bad. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's a certain select few that would really follow this through and we would do anything else. And then they start identifying in their areas where they've got, you know, distractions and they're being vulnerable, etc., etc. But a lot of people don't want it bad enough. And it shows in your work, it shows in, in the questions you ask, it shows in, 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 in the lifestyles you lead. That too is okay. Maybe that's what you want. But I don't think you want it bad enough. If you are committed to actually start having a business that's profitable and enjoyable, can you just type in, in the comments there, I want it. Maybe it will be the only commitment you actually would make either to yourself or whoever is going to be watching this. Because I'm trying to work with people that really, really are inspired to do what inspires them. Because all you can do is all you can do. So if you are committed right now and you say, I want it, that's all you can do for now. And then you will follow through. And also, if you've made it up to the end of this video, please share this. All right. Just please share this. Maybe somebody out there just really would have wanted to hear this, but they did not have the opportunity. But if you have seen my work, you've seen what I'm doing, I really believe that every business should be profitable and enjoyable. And I believe that it is our duty to create stuff and relate to those that we're going to be demanding money off of. All right. Um, Steven says, I want it. Go get it. The only person stopping you is you. <laughs> Good stuff, man. And Mike says, what does your daily schedule look like, brother? If it's too much, feel free to skip or skim. Exactly, man. Thank you all so much. And Unroop, thank you so much for tuning in. We're about to knock off here. We're just talking about productivity and how you can actually stay motivated to be doing Everything else that you wish for, you can be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable if you just put your mind to it, if you just put everything you've got into it. But maybe you don't want it bad enough. All you can do is all you can do. So figure out what is your maximum capacity, what is your maximum output, and do a little bit more. It's been fantastic hanging out with you guys. And thank you so much. And everybody else that welcomed my mom, thank you so much. And mom, it's your boy here. We're trying to make it happen. Thank you all so much. Nicole, Steve, everybody else that's tuning in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I will be continuing this conversation um, in the comments below. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your week. And go out there and be as productive as can be. Because you know what? All you can do is all you can do. So if this is what you can do, then that's it. But I know you are capable of more. All right. Have a good day.